Your longest content piece for your magazine is going to be your long article. The long article gives you a chance to, to actually dive into something a little bit deeper. So let's take a peek at what we're looking for when it comes to a long article. I'm looking for a byline, which means who wrote the, the article. So by you, by Joe Schmo, whoever you decided. Uh, it needs to be 500 to 2,000 words. They need to be your own words. Do not take one of your class papers and drop it in. That's not very fun to read either. I'm looking for you to use those text frame options to use columns. Remember, this is not a book report. We're trying to go for, you know, engaging short text that's magazine style. We're looking for one graphic element per page. Remember, graphic elements are not always a picture. Maybe it's a sidebar. Maybe it's some type of graphic rule. I'm looking for photo and image credits and the correct resolution. As always, place those images, don't paste them in, and don't override your styles. Make sure your spelling's turned on and use those layers and have a great inspiration piece on your pasteboard. All right, so let's take a peek at a few different samples. So when you're looking at long articles, you want to cover at least three pages. So with three pages, you can either have a intro page and a couple page spread. You can have a couple page spread uh, for the entire thing. It's up to you. Three pages is the minimum of what you're going for. So a lot of students sometimes will go with something like a big photo and then some type of article as well. Uh, and then wrap it into the next page. So this is really easy. You think of this as an inspiration piece. You've got one large photo, you've got a rule, you've got some type of sidebar, you've got an introduction with a cool little uh, drop cap kind of thing back here. We're using kind of a rule to help tell this story with some um, bullets. So just kind of take it apart and look at what the different elements are. Uh, there's usually two page articles are long articles are probably the easiest thing to find samples for and I've given you a whole bunch of different uh, ideas here in the Google Drive. When you're working on your long article, make sure you're threading those cop those text cop boxes from one box to another one page. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some placeholder text in here. I'm gonna do a right click. I'm going to change this and I change to my text frame options. Let's change it to two columns. Turn preview on, two columns. And I now know I want to put some additional text onto here. And so I've got that overset text box right here. Go ahead and grab that and draw another box to make sure I am flowing it from one to another. The great thing about that is that if you decide to change the size of this box, it's gonna automatically flow it into the next one. And you can flow to the next page as well. So always go for fewer boxes than more boxes. And let's go ahead and take a quick, let's go to our window and info. And we can do a quick word count. Find out how many words we've got in here. So 366. So it kind of gives you an idea of how many uh, words you want. Make sure you're using those styles. So make sure when you're in here, you've got those styles created. Uh, if you don't use them, it's going to turn bright blue. The bright blue tells me that, hey, you're not using your styles. The blue along the side means you started to use a style, but you did something to it with the basic paragraph. And it'll tell you right here what you did. So it'll tell you uh, what elements that you did to, you either need to, you know, recreate that style. You don't want any bright blue to pop up. So the long article gives you a chance to tell some really fun stories. You know, this is your big piece in your magazine. So how are you going to make it make sense? How are you going to help tell that story? And I think that's all you need to do for your long article. I look forward to reading them.